Okay, so I know that as a uh, spiritual teacher and wellness teacher, I'm not really supposed to say this, but as you can see from the title, sometimes you have to lie. Now, sometimes though, right, the lie needs to be like discerning. So for example, like when your friend might ask you, hey, they might wear something that's new. Hey, they might ask you, do you think I look fat in this? Now you may be thinking, girl, take that shit off. You look like a cow, right? But you're probably not gonna say that. You're not gonna be like, yes, you look fat. And be like, no, not at all. But maybe let's try something else to wear, all right? I remember a moment in which I was in high school. I remember um, me and my mom, we were at church at the time. And I went to church first because at the church I went to, I was like an usher. And uh, I was there first. I'm usually there all day, like ushering, because at that church I was at, which was St. Paul's Community Baptist Church in Brooklyn, New York, East New York, under the direction of uh, Reverend Dr. Johnny Ray Youngblood, who's now a bishop. Uh, I remember I was there. I got there early, you know, to usher. And then my mom came in later for the church service. And she was wearing this, like, black and white, uh, like, dress. I remember in my head saying to myself, hmm, that's not very flattering, you know? And I kind of said, she looks a bit like a zebra. Now, that's what I said to myself, right? Saw her, hugged her, hey. After we hugged, she was like, hey, do you think this makes me look too much like a zebra? What she was wearing. And the first thing I said was, yes, it does. And I could tell as soon as I said that, her entire demeanor changed. I could tell that she got very self-conscious. I could tell that she also had a bit of sadness because obviously she had the thought in her head, right? And then someone tells her, yes, you do. And you're just getting to service and everyone's gonna see you. So now she's gonna be even more self-conscious that she looks like a zebra. Right, but then I had to clean it up. Well, it's not like you look like a zebra, like, hey guys, I'm out here like a zebra, like coming on and like, a fat one, you you know, and I was like, uh, you really can't clean that up, <clears throat> right? So sometimes you have to use discernment in regards to like telling the truth, like realizing sometimes telling the truth can sometimes do more harm than good to someone. So me telling my mom that she looked like a zebra did more harm to her than it did good to her, right? Um, but I think there's like three levels of layers to this, right? There's sometimes where like, I don't think you can tell the truth because it'll do more harm than good to someone. Two, I think there are times where you can tell the truth, but just package it in a way in which the person can receive it in a way that makes sense. So sometimes if you might tell someone the truth, sometimes you might tell them something and it might <laughs> really pierce deeply. I remember one time, uh, a few years ago, I told my aunt, I was like, you lie a lot. Like, why do you lie? Like, you lie so much. <laughs> I was like, you, you, you take this, right? But she got really hurt by that, right? But there was a way for me that I could have told her where I feel like you lie, but I could have packaged it in a way that would have been more presentable. So it didn't hurt her in the way that it did. So I've learned from me sometimes when I when I want to tell the truth, but I package something in a certain way, I tend to sandwich it. So I think about like an Oreo, where you have like the two cookies and the cream in the middle, <clears throat> right? So you kind of like, or just like a sandwich, right? You have the bread and then in the middle, you have the meat, the cheese, right? And then the bread again, right? So sometimes people need like the bread, they need a soft, soft something, a soft lightness before you get in the meat of it and then end it with the soft lightness. So I could have started off with her, with my aunt specifically, I could have said something like, you know, thank you, great, I love our relationship, I think you're amazing, like I love the way that we connect, bread. Then going to the meat, I could say, you know, but there's times in which I feel like sometimes you bet you've been untruthful. And you lied about things that were unnecessary, right? That's the meat, and then end with the bread. And I could have said something like, 
you know, I really value our relationship. I really see us, you know, getting to the next level. You know, I really want there to be, you know, more trust because I value you as my aunt. And I really love how we connect when we do. I consider you, you know, to be like really like one of my best friends in my family, you know. So again, like end with something like soft. So sometimes um, you can sandwich it in that way, right? So realizing, and, and I think about it this way also, like realizing um, that if, let's say, God forbid, someone came into your house, right, and said, give me all your valuables. And he said, okay, you know, there, there's my wallet, you know, whatever, go and take it, that's it, that's all I have, right? Now, say if you have, uh, what do you call this? Not a treasure chest, there's a word for this. You have a, I'll put the word here, because I'm sure you all know, you, you have this thing, right? You have this thing where you put a whole bunch of jewelry and money in, right? Are you gonna say, oh, by the way, I also have like this thing you can go to in my room. Here's the combination to go in it and you can get the other valuables, my gold and cash also there. Also, I forgot to tell you, I have a bank account also. It has a bank account information, right? It's like, no, <laughs> you're not gonna say that. Right, you're gonna be very discerning, realizing, give people kind of what they want when, you know, okay, here's my wallet and stuff and that's it. Not gonna tell them about your secret stash that you have in your room or your um, bank accounts to get money out of there. All right, so sometimes when it comes to telling the truth, when it comes to sometimes protecting yourself or protecting others, sometimes I've realized, sometimes you can't always tell everyone everything. And that's not just in the, oh, look at my lips, y'all. I'm sorry, they look so chapped. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to get off this message soon, but. Y'all ain't telling me my, my lips were chapped? Well, obviously you can't because, you know, you're watching this, but mm, 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 mm. Okay, a bit better. Out here doing a video with chapped lips. Um, but yeah, but it's like sometimes you um, can't tell everyone everything. And that's just not in regards to telling the truth. Sometimes, sometimes just in regards to life. Sometimes you can't tell everyone your dreams, all your dreams. Right, sometimes you have to kind of give people things and bits to pieces or not say anything at all so that you can continue to like manifest your dreams the way that you want to, you know? So I'll say, you know, I don't usually condone like saying, yes, you lie, lie. No, I'm not, not saying that. I'm saying there are moments in life we have to be very discerning and know that sometimes telling the truth will do more harm than good in a situation. And realizing us being on a spiritual path, wellness path, our goal is to be good, right? And again, though, using discernment is important. And I say this because sometimes, you know, and I think these moments are rare, <clears throat> but sometimes you have to go off on people because otherwise they, they wouldn't get it, right? But I think those moments are rare. Like if someone is like, for, so, for example, I remember one time um, I was walking the streets in New York City. It was late at night. This woman was like, you're walking. And this guy was like following her, like trying to talk to her. Then at one point, you know, the lady was ignoring him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then at one point, the guy went in to like touch her. Right? So what was she supposed to do? Be like, oh, don't touch me. No, I'm sorry. She yelled, said, get the fuck off me, right? And like hit him, it's like get off, right? So like sometimes in those situations where you feel like you're being threatened, sometimes you have to also let people know, like, stop. Like, no, this is not what's happening, right? So realizing there are these moments in our lives, these discerning moments in which like uh, there's a sense of balance. I've been really tapping into this recently, like balance, like realizing... There's this yin and this yang, right? And so you can't always be yin, which is sometimes, you know, the more softer side. And you can't always be yang, which is always the harder side. Sometimes you have to have this balance, right? So there are moments in which, obviously, you actually tell the truth, right? You're truthful. But realizing, oh, this truth is going to be actually do more harm than good. So maybe I don't say it all, right? Or I sandwich it. 
right? Or I do something else. Um, you know, but then also realizing in the instance of the woman who was like, get the fuck off me, right? Where it's like, yes, if sometimes you can less be soft and be kind to people, but if someone starts to get up in your space and attack you and do something that's not welcome, sometimes you have to go off, right? So there's this balance in life and realizing and discerning when to use one over the other, right? So that's his message. So I'm not necessarily condoning lying all the time. <laughs> um, I would still say you have to be truthful. But there are moments in which sometimes uh, being truthful uh, is not the right thing to do at the moment because it will actually cause a disaster or do more harm to someone or a situation than good. Okay. I feel like y'all have comments and thoughts about this message. So put it in the chat below. Siyama are probably already writing already. Thank you for the five people <laughs> that consistently watch my videos. Um, so thank you. I appreciate it. And let me go and put something on these lips, child, because I don't know why I'm out here trying to make a video with chap lips. Okay, bye.